Hi all, in this video we're going to go over the explode node and um, just uh, I'll just show you quickly um, kind of blowing up one word and reforming into another word. Uh, it's all a cheat, one fades off and the other one kind of fades on. Uh, but um, it's, a, it's, you know, it's just people have been asking for an explode node tutorial, this is an excuse to do one. So um, yeah, let's get started. Um, so, um, right. We'll create ourselves some type here, and I'm going to write one in this box here, and then the font we're going to use, let's use Langdon, like that. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to change a few settings on the type. I'm going to make it uh, slightly finer mesh. I'm going to increase the extrude distance, maybe, something like that. And then I'm going to turn on deformable type just because I want the front faces to explode. And uh, there's going to be basically the way that explode works is every polygon is pulled apart. So um, I just want some more even spacing down here. So I want um, all the polygons to be the same size. So I'm going to adjust this match egg, max edge length here. And as you can see, as I pull this down, um, it's creating more um, more faces for us. Um, I'm going to increase the number of divisions down the side of the mesh just to get something a bit more square. And then uh, we've actually got loads and loads of faces uh, over the top here. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to, sorry, um, I'm going to, do, do, um, uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, sorry, I'm, I've obviously I hit a setting I didn't intend to, um, 0.5, okay, um, yep. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry for that interlude. I just uh, accidentally pushed the setting. Uh, so the front face, as you can see, if I turn on the edge display here, is uh, it's pretty untidy. It doesn't look like a nice triangulation of a face. So let's uh, increase the reduce threshold here, which is going to make it look a lot more like um, kind of Delaunay triangulation kind of a look. And then I'm going to actually um, lower the refine threshold, which is going to put more faces into it, just to give us a nice even look. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> Yeah, let's get going. Uh, I'm going to create a cube uh, for a mash network. It's just going to be for diagnostic purposes, really. I'm going to make it 0 0.1 in size, and I'm going to color it what? I'm going to color it red. Let's give it a... There you go. Um, and then, yes, yeah, so let's make a mash network. Let's go to the distribute node, and then um, underneath mesh settings here, we're going to um, drag and drop the type mesh onto the input mesh. And that's going to distribute our little points on the surface. Um, actually, uh, actually, I'm going to undo that um, because I'm going to duplicate the mesh. I'm going to call this one one, um, and then I'm going to type in two because obviously I need two meshes. So um, let's move this one back a little bit. Uh, okay, so in fact, yeah, okay, so let's do that. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tuck the characters in here slightly. Uh, just gonna reduce the kernings. No, I'm not. Am I gonna do that? Uh, something maybe a little bit more like that. They're just gonna be close together, just because um, the words wider. Uh, okay, so something like that. Um, and we'll duplicate that, and we'll call that one two, and then I'm gonna bin the type mesh. So anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program. Um, one, that's right, we're gonna distribute onto that. So on the distribute node, let's drag our one on there, and then let's change the method from scatter to face center and hit flood mesh, which is going to put a, um, a mesh point on every surface. I did one too many undos and there's no cube on here anymore, so I'm just gonna drag that back on and then yeah, ta-da, you can see uh, all those cubes. So ta-da, there they are. So there's now a mash point on every single face on the object. And next we're gonna add a random node. So we add a random node and then I'm just gonna, rather than increase position X, Y, and Z, I'm just gonna middle mouse drag the um, strength slider. I'm holding down command on the Windows and Linux, I assume it's control. Um, so yeah, let's do that. And um, just to do that. And then what we will do is, we'll add an explode node. 
So Explode Node will do nothing uh, from the get-go um, because there's no exploding mesh. So the exploding mesh doesn't have to be the one that you're distributing onto, but in this case, we're going to, uh, it does want to be that one. So let's drag one onto the exploding mesh and then poof, there we go, there's the mesh. So um, I'm going to hide the repro mesh because we don't need it anymore and it's kind of going to just confuse things. So um, what we can do is, uh, on the explode node, I'm going to get the mesh editor up because it's just going to make my life easier. So uh, we get at any of these utility nodes, so these four nodes down here, we get at those through this little connections menu on the waiter. Uh, all of these other nodes, they're actually reorderable, so they go underneath the waiter. So um, that's the difference. So utilities go into this little menu here, and then the normal nodes go just go into the waiter because we can reorder those. So anyway, let's get to the um, explode node, and then we can just play with the strength slider to reform our word. We can do it randomly, like so, uh, and we can do it um, in order. So that's um, actually in the order of the, um, the polygon ID. Um, okay, and uh, we can use a fall off. So let's use a fall off. We go create. Boom. I'm going to turn off edge display. And what's cool about this is that the faces that aren't exploded maintain their smooth shading, uh, which is a pretty cool feature. So um, we're going to blow our word up. I'm just going to, I need to have a bigger fall off to do this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it in the middle. I'm going to make sure that everything is blow it up proper um, and then I'm going to keyframe it so let's keyframe this let's say frame 50 let's get our money's worth out of this there we go and then on frame 0 or 1 let's move this out the way down here the key uh, so our animation looks like this cool um, there we go. Um, so we actually, as it blows up, we want it to disappear. So we just have, need to add a, an offset node to this. And the offset node is going to shrink everything down. So when it's exploded, it will be uh, invisible. Because everything has a scale of 1 by default, unless unless you check 0 scale here. So um, we are putting a, a minus 1 offset onto the scale. So that takes it from 1 to 0. So let's rewind and press play. And there you go. Uh, and now we just need to repeat the process for the two. Um, pretty easy. So let's turn the two on. And then let's select the same cube and go create, create mesh network. Uh, we will, actually I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call this network one. And then let's call this network two, like so. Uh, and then just because we can, let's give this one a color just to help us identify them. Um, and uh, so we've got a distribute node. We need to put our... No, uh, word onto the input mesh and change the method face center flood mesh go back to two what we can do is we can now add an explode node um, and drag our two onto it um, so you'll notice that nothing has happened um, I'm going to hide the second repro mesh because again we don't need it but nothing's happened two hasn't exploded like the one did and that's because there is no random node we didn't add a random node so we can still add that uh, so let's go and do that now we're just going to add a random node and uh, we'll um, just use the virtual slider to make that blow up as well. And then exactly the same as before, we can add, um, can uh, well remove some scale from it, so what, um, so that when it's exploded, uh, it will disappear to nothing. Um, and then uh, again on the explode node, you, what we could do is we could add either add a fall off to the random node and a fall off to the offset node to control them both. Um, or we can just add the one fall off to the explode node, which will control everything in the mesh network. So it's kind of easy to do that. Um, this uh, this fall off, let's make it a cube, and we will place it in the middle of the two, like so. I'm just going to scale it up and then make it wider. Maybe I'll, I'll go nuts. Uh, something like something like that, maybe. And then. On frame one, I guess, let's set a keyframe here. Set a key like that. And then on frame 50, I guess, we're going to have to play with the keyframes, I think, a little bit. Let's have that completely formed. So just set a key there. And then when we hit rewind and play, the one blows up and is replaced by the two. 
it's pretty cool. So if you're if you're quick enough about it, you probably wouldn't even notice that they were. Um, made up of completely different polygons. Well, you would, I suppose, but it's still a cool effect. Um, so there you go. Uh, that is how you do it. A pretty, pretty quick setup. Um, yeah, there's nothing, nothing much more to it than that. So the, the only caveat with the explode node is that once you've dragged an exploding mesh onto it, that is the exploding mesh. There's currently no way to replace meshes on here. Um, not that I'm aware of anyway, uh, so I wouldn't try it. Just delete the explode node and, and go again. Um, uh, but that's about it really. Um, otherwise it's, it's pretty cool. You can use a map to do the same thing as well. And uh, yeah, so something that just trip people up as a tip, and so not related to what we've done here, but uh, people um, check enable rotation. Everything, um, they all the faces get double rotated and everyone gets really confused. And that's because um, if you're doing a mesh distribution uh, to set up your initial points for the explode node, we calculate rotation. And so the faces are going to get the, the, their rotation twice. So if you're doing that, just uncheck calculate rotation. So if you're using um, a mesh distribution to um, start off and explode, yeah, like I say, just be aware that if you're going to use rotation on the explode node like that, if you're going to enable that, then you need to uncheck calculate rotations on the um, di on the distribute node. So there's a tip. Uh, like I said, not completely unrelated to what we're doing here, but um, yeah, there you go. If I hide the fall off objects, I'll just play it through one last time with no fall offs. Yeah, I think it could just play with that first keyframe a tiny little bit just to improve that, but um, you get the idea because it's just that it started appearing before it started going, before it started disappearing, but it looks really good at the end. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, hope you like the effect and uh, that's that's the explode node. Uh, let me know, let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. Um, yeah, I hope you find it useful.